Hi guys, I'm J Team. If someone caused you pain, what would you do? Will revenge or so on? That would be Miranda's answer. In Return to Sender, a psychological thriller, talk about how Miranda would do it to someone who makes her life hell. Let's watch the movie together. At the restaurant, a man is in critical condition because he cannot breathe. Nurse Miranda appeared at the same time. She calmly used skills learned at the hospital. Success saved a life. Miranda is a very capable and dedicated nurse. She always strives to study and improve expertise throughout the working process for the chance to advance, become a nurse in the operating room. The day after work, Miranda visited her father's house. She was engrossed in her childhood memories. Then suddenly her father's dog jumped on top of it and soiled her dress. Makes Miranda unhappy. At dinner, father and son have dinner and talking about Miranda's marriage. In the past few years, she has always focused on developing her career, but her father's words also made her think. At a birthday party for you Miranda, she made her own exquisite two-tier cake. Good luck for the man who can marry her. Miranda's best friend tried to introduce her to someone named Kevin. It took Miranda six months to agree to meet him. They had their first meeting this week, so she hopes Miranda won't destroy it. She even joked that if this nurse escaped, then she is the person with the most merit. The birthday party atmosphere that day was really fun. It was very quick to have asthma. Miranda stayed at home to take care of herself. Then she saw a man in front of the house. Because Miranda had never met Kevin, nor did she have a telephone, so she opened the door to invite him in and thought it was Kevin, but after Miranda changed her dress, this person, she realized, was nothing like what she had heard, it was even earlier than the appointment time, Miranda knew he wasn't the person she needed to meet, should have invited him to leave, but seeing Miranda's sexy body, he didn't go, but left the door locked, Miranda tried to resist fiercely, but still he was beaten down, raped. Yep. Soon after, he quickly ran away from her house. At this point, Kevin really brought flowers and gifts. He saw Miranda in ragged clothes, is lying miserably on the ground. Kevin quickly reported the police. By this time Miranda had awoken in the hospital. She recalls at the restaurant the day she went out to eat with her father. She had encountered this pervert once. He's the employee of that restaurant. This also explained the reason he was at her home. And his excitement at meeting Miranda again. He's William. The police quickly found him. When he was about to run away. Finally there was enough evidence to convict William. But as for Miranda she couldn't get away from that horrible incident. She suffered trauma day and night. It is not only haunting in everyday life. It also seriously affected her work. Her hands were no longer in control, but trembling when injecting drugs to patients. So she was transferred. Even at home baking is not better. She tried to be more active by planting flowers in the garden, but it didn't work. And to get rid of negative thoughts. Miranda thinks about selling the house, to change to a new environment, hope you will forget the past to start over, but the broker said, after she happened, this house is considered, haunted, so it is difficult to sell within the next few months, obviously, no one wants to buy a house that brings such bad luck, she cannot sell her house and she cannot afford a new home, there's no other way, Miranda could only stay here and sink in despair, she also doesn't want to be a loser at the hands of fate, Miranda thought back and forth, wondering, how to get rid of that horrifying phobia, in the end she made a decision no one dared to believe, Miranda wrote a letter and sent it to prison to the man who raped her, in the letter she wrote that she wanted to meet him, then Miranda had all the windows covered, so she can feel safe, and maybe it could become a new environment for her, as the days passed, her job did not improve, messages sent by Miranda are always returned, send one, return one, but Miranda didn't give up, she persisted in sending a letter to William, she'd have to see William anyway, Miranda didn't believe she couldn't win, she finally received a reply from him, a letter was returned with the phrase, you win, attached, he agrees to meet Miranda, when she visited the prison she told William directly why she was looking for him, because I want to remove the tie in my heart, just bravely face William, cope with the pain he's caused, then that pain won't torture her for another second, Miranda also wanted him to face her, and torment about the dirty actions that she has committed, during the conversation, William just kept saying sorry to her, I'm sorry, since that day, Miranda always came to visit him. She also actively wears very sexy clothes. As time passed, the two naturally became close. Happily laughed. Could it be that she fell in love with the person who raped her? What kind of reverse trauma effect? At this point William also started thinking about Miranda. He tried very hard to reform well. Also refrained from making a mistake with other criminals. Perhaps he regretted it. And wants to be released soon to make up for Miranda. And she is trying to change herself. Doing things she never did. She often goes to her father's house, 
take care and play with his pet dog, before that Miranda hated dogs, because they often dirty her clothes. But now somehow, she feels very happy with them again. Some time passed, William happily told Miranda, because his prison performance is good, should have been on the amnesty list, soon will be released. On hearing this news, Miranda's expression changed, there was even a bit of panic in her eyes. But very quickly she said with a smile, wait after he gets out of prison the two of you will keep going back and forth. On the way home Miranda's father called to tell her that his dog was dead. So after visiting and comforting dad, Miranda buried that poor dog's body. A few days later, someone sent flowers and cards to the hospital for her. Turns out, William was released from prison, he called her to say he wanted to see her, Miranda thought for a moment, finally agreed to let him fix the house, she even made water for William, but she won't let him in the house, William also understood that he was hurting Miranda, so he wanted her to see a thoughtful and considerate William, these stories were accidentally shy about her father, he was very angry but even more incomprehensible, why does she forgive so easily, and also interacting with someone who has hurt her, he assumed that William was a scum his whole life wouldn't change, he will continue to hurt her, but Miranda Miranda still didn't explain, she just told her father that she had grown, and she knows what she should do, this angered her father to leave, William later knew her because of him that he quarreled with his father, he called to say he wouldn't bother her anymore, but she still wants him to help her fix the house, this made William think, she gave him a chance to correct the mistake, so he tried his best to prove it to her, even when the child part of him arose, he also tried to hold back, William really wants to live a more meaningful life, that day, when I was in the middle of the job, Miranda gave him a glass of water, but not long after finished drinking, William, sensing something was wrong, fell to the ground, until he sobered up, find yourself without strength, hands and feet were also tied tightly on the bed, turns out, the glass of water just now had been quashed by Miranda, in the end she never forgave William, in her heart she just wanted him to go through, sufferings a thousand times, but to get revenge, Miranda persisted and made a play, she tries to flirt with the one who ruined her life, wait until he completely believes her, then the game will begin, she wanted to, take special care, herself for William, so she cut off his left hand, because he used it to grab and hit her, not only that, she also mentions William, she talked about the trauma she left after being raped, Miranda seemed to enjoy torturing him, at the end of the movie, Miranda went to find her father to apologize for her manners, her father didn't blame her, he just wanted her to be happy, Miranda even told her father, from now on, William will never appear, in her father's life, but Miranda also hid her father something else, since her mother's death, she was a woman full of hatred, she tries to live better, but William aroused anger in her, and that pet dog's death was also done by Miranda, today's movie comes to an end, it takes us from one surprise to another, bring back levels of emotions from anger, suffering, torment to doubts, before the actions of the characters, please share my feelings about this movie, see you later.